Oh yeah, I'm liking the music. Jamming on the one. What's up, Sador family? Then checked in. Welcome. Yeah, I'm just trying to open up this. Oh. Get us on the radio, then we get started. All right, I'm jamming over here. I'm listening to your music. I'm cool. Ow. All right, let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is another Thursday, and you are tuned in to Sador Presents Another Open Conversation live and direct. You got your girl, Jay Monet, and me, the one and only, the princess of comedy. Stop that princess of Philly. I'm just the princess. <laughs> Miss Darkchild. I got to make myself Jay Monet global. <laughs> I hear you, baby. You ain't Jay Monet of Philly or Jay Monet of what? You are just Jay Monet. That's it. That's it. So we got to be where we from, right? That's right. <laughs> so let's be where we from. Where we be? Jay no so limit. When you get to, when you get to oh, I'm Mark Five of Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Working on the moon. <laughs> Look, look, Mark Five of Earth. Hey now, <laughs> hey we now. Some, simply D hey just jumped on. Simply D. What's up, everybody? We are on Facebook Live. What's going on? If you want to make a comment or whatever, you can say it on uh, Facebook. Uh, we are also on Sedora Radio. The station is more than music. If you are on Facebook and want to jump on the radio, just download the free app, Sedora Radio. The station is more than music. It's free for you individuals that don't like spending money or investing into African-American. <laughs> it's free. Look, like the cheese that we used to get back in the day, it's free. Like that nasty ass powdered milk, it was free. <laughs> like that dry ass cereal, it's free. <laughs> what's going on, y'all? Uh, I guess, I guess jumping on. This is going to be an interesting show interesting show and it's funny let me tell y'all something real quick before she jump on even though Spike be listening. It ain't. you know what cracks me up when i book these guests right they be so nervous i gotta tell them that yo we not the view you ain't gotta get all nervous <laughs> like that it's just the conversation we're gonna talk about your business we're gonna talk about a couple you know topics and stuff like that and we're gonna enjoy ourselves it's real natural you don't have to be you know uptight about being on the show you know, and stuff like that. Because they were like, oh, I got to talk for 15 minutes. I said, yo, it's five of, it's five of us. You better be lucky we let you talk when we rap. Like, look, we're going to let you talk about your business. You know what I mean? They get, they get nervous. I wish they stopped, yo. We are fun. We've been yes. doing this since 2013, I think. Is uh, That's how long we've been doing this. Next year, it'll have been, what, 10 years that we've been doing this already, open conversation stuff. Which started in the living room at a tiny room table. Hey, the dark child like when I tell these stories because she was there. Hey, look, look, I just made her day. Look at her smile. <laughs> ah, we on, we on. Look, and I mean, you muted dark, but it's like what? Well, so I just try to tell people. Okay, all right. I know I I'm you. muted because I needed to say something off, I got off, you. off camera. <laughs> go ahead, cuss them out, Dark. Do your thing. <laughs> Look, go ahead, cuss them out. Do your thing. <laughs> Look, so we got Simply D also on, mm -hmm. but, you know, tonight's going to be interesting because everybody's into the health and wellness um, thing now. And I think that uh, it's crazy that that C-19 made it even more uh, a big topic as far as, you know, health and wellness and people working out and all types of stuff, man. I, I love it, to be honest with you. I know I need to get my behind back in the gym working out, but I just be too tired. <laughs> Look, I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm working every day when I'm, you know, doing what I do. Mr. Fastlane won't be on because he had an emergency to take care of. And here come my guest now. So let me let her in. 
And while we while she logs on again, you're listening to Open Conversation Show here every Thursday, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. on the station. There's more than music. We're also on Facebook Live, which I'm going to share the link. Also, you can check this out on our podcast streaming site. When it's done, it's usually up. It's usually uploaded to. Um, I got people wanting to see us and all that. Text me. How will I see y'all? Go on Facebook. Since you're listening, I ain't got to text you back. I could just tell you, if you want to see us live, you can go on Facebook or after the show, you can go to the YouTube channel on Sador Radio. S-A-D-I-O-R Radio. Hello. How are you? Welcome to Open Conversation. Katrissa, I see you. You can smile. Say something so I can make sure I hear you. Hello. How are you? Hey, Miss Cat. Uh, How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was talking about you before you jumped on. I said she's gonna get on here and realize that it's not that uptight. We have fun, <laughs> we discuss things, we just talk about topics, and um, we've been doing this since 2013. And a lot of people like coming on our show because when they first get on, they be like this, yeah, you know, and then by the time they get off, they having fun and don't want to know the next time they coming on. <laughs> and that's what it's about. I invited you on because we're trying to do more of promoting uh, businesses. I don't say, I try to get away from the small business and the little, I hate that damn, I hate talking because <laughs> I feel like I'm degrading people's business. And I feel like, you know, when I used to talk to people, I'm like, yeah, I'm working on a little something. But now I try to take the little out mm -hmm. because the simple fact, we want to throw positive things in the atmosphere on where we're That's trying it. to go. We, try, yes. we want people to respect us as a big business, like they respect the Walmarts and all these other businesses. So we're trying to promote business on Open Conversation because of the platform that we all are on. Um, we have a lot of followers, as you see. One of our guests, I mean, one of our hosts couldn't be on tonight. He had an emergency. He's in Florida. Jay Monet's in Las Vegas. And of course, myself is in Philadelphia. Simply D is in Philadelphia. And Dark Child is in Philadelphia. <laughs> So before we get started, started, I want to introduce you and let you tell our listeners, our viewers, and our re-watchers, I call them, a little bit about yourself. You got the floor. Okay. Okay. Thank you for inviting me. I really appreciate it. And um, it's not that I'm uptight. It's just that it's dinner time for my family. So, you know, I didn't know how my children were going to be in the background with all the, mommy, can I have this? Mommy, can I have that? <laughs> so, well, wait a minute. Mommy, can I have this? Mommy, can I have it? <laughs> I already told him. I already told him. Y'all better shut up. Ooh. Oh, oh look. Y'all get done your Ooh. food and your drink. Just leave it there. Go upstairs. Take a shower. Don't say nothing. I just <laughs> not how old are they? Not nothing. Nothing. <laughs> how okay. old are they, Kat? They are nine and eleven. My okay. Boys. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm gonna go into me. So, um. I'm a mother of four. Um, my boys are nine and 11. My daughters are 19 and 21. Mm. Um, now, I only do my business right now. I don't do anything else. So my business is Amaro's Natural Products. I got started after I damaged my hair. Um, I was working um, by profession. I'm a RCIS, AKA cath lab tech, working in the hospital in a cath lab, working beside the physician. And um, it's not too many black people in that field. Really, it's not. It's like maybe 3%. So, you know, when I started working, you know, like we have to wear like a medical bonnet and we have to be, you know, like we have the neck shield, body shield. We got to have on a mask, everything. Every day at work, they was clowning me like, oh, it looked like you popping popcorn on your head. So I'm looking at all them. I'm the only black person in there. And I'm like, I just want to work. I just come here to work, <laughs> help the patient. I'm right there with you. And it was like the physician, the nurses, the other techs, everybody clowning me. So, you know, I'm like, oh man, here we go with this nonsense. I just want to work, go home, get paid when it's time to get paid. So after a while, I just felt like really self-conscious, you know, because it's like, if I say something crazy, then I'm be labeled the stereotypical black girl that got the attitude, you know what I'm saying? Even though they're, you know, like bullying me and just yeah. picking and picking and picking and picking every single day. So I say, you know, I'm gonna start straightening my hair. So then it became like, okay, I'm straightening my hair every, every like 
I would say like four or five, six weeks. Then it became like a habit, like, okay, it's easy. I can just straighten my hair. I can unwrap it, go to work, whatever. Then after a while, like after two years, I'm doing that. I just, you know, one day I was like, you know what? Let me just wear my hair natural again. And I had, I had bald spot right here, bald spot right here, bald spot in the middle from wearing ponytails. It was crazy. This whole side was no curl. I, listen, I cried. I look, I told my daughter, I'm like, look what I did to my hair. You know, and I'm and she like, well, you gonna cut it off? What you gonna do? I'm like, no, I'm not cutting off my hair. I'm just gonna, you know, try to let it, try to do something to let it grow faster. Um, and just cut it as it's growing. You know, so I'm out there buying stuff. I'm, okay, I'm gonna buy a can too. I'm gonna buy this, I'm gonna buy that. Like this stuff don't work. This this stuff is not helping my hair really grow like that. It just really is it looks dull. It's not making my hair look any better. So I said, you know what, well, let me just go ahead and start researching some oil, some butters and see if I can put something together myself and see if I can make it better on my own. So after, you know, a few weeks of trying this and trying that, buying up all this stuff, like I had a whole bunch of money. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I said, you know what? Um, I said, okay, I like this combination of the shampoo, deep conditioner, because I wanted the whole thing. I said, I need the whole system. So I made a, a shampoo, deep conditioner, a cream, hair oil and hair growth serum. That's what I started with. So I, I, when I started using it, like I would shampoo my hair and deep condition it every week. I just saw a difference right away. Like within like three weeks, I saw a major difference. And my daughter's like, oh, mom, okay, you got something. Okay, let, let us, you know, because everybody's natural. So even my boys, they, you know, they have, um, their hair is not cut short, it's, it's longer. So they were like, okay, mom, we, we're going to use it and see how it works on our hair. So everybody here was like really nice. And so, you know, I kept making it. I kept making it. I said, okay, we're going to just keep using it just, just to see how, you know, if it's going to change over time or like if, if it's going to keep getting better. The hair growth serum is my hair going to grow faster so I can keep, you know, so I can start really cutting it without it looking like I'm really cutting my hair a whole lot. You know, I really didn't want to change what my hair looked like. So it worked. And so my daughter's pushing me, mom, you got a business right here. And I'm like, I don't even know about that. I like being in the background, you know, when I go to work, I'm behind all this stuff and nobody can really, you know, like see me and be in my space like that to really be, you know, like I don't have to be that vulnerable, you know? So she, she got on me like, mom, just do it. Come on. You got something, to, you know, people need this. They need this, you know, you just do it. So after like two months of her, like trying to convince me, I was so shy. I just, you know, I just said, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I can do this. And I just did it. I did it. I got everything, started, you know, putting everything together. And um, I finally launched uh, March the 25th of 2020, right when COVID hit. I didn't even think it was going to be that bad. I was like, man, this is nonsense. I don't even <laughs> really look at the news or look at TV anyway. But I was hearing about it. My mom telling me about it. I said, man, this ain't nothing. This, this, this going to be gone by maybe April. Then I'm like, oh, man, this is really real. I can't believe I just put all this money into this business and we got all this nonsense going on. So it, it's, it's been, you know, a bit, it's been a challenge, but it's going well enough that this is all I do right now. So I'm still home. It's OK. You know, I'm moving forward and I'm helping people. That's the most important thing. You know, I'm changing lives. You know, I get phone calls from women all the time. I need help. I've been wearing wigs for a long time. I just want my, I want my edges to grow back. You know, can you help me out? So it makes me happy when they call me or, or, you know, send me something testimonial, like, yeah, you know, these are my before. Well, a lot of women are, are very shy about taking the before and after pictures. So they give me a lot of words and um, I'm like, I'm happy that I'm helping them. I'm happy. I want to do more. Um, I have kits for women, for little girls. All my stuff is for everybody, really. You know, I have men that buy from me. It just, I'm, I'm right. happy. I'm happy. Quick, quick question. You muted. Yeah. You muted. You muted. Dark. Got on me. So, dark. and then I want to ask you something. 
Hold on me. A lot of African American sisters suffer from, and I'm one of them, alopecia. But luckily, my spot is only as big as a dime. Okay. And I'm able to cover mines up without you seeing. So we as big as a dime. Okay. So you really don't see it. Now. All right, real quick. For the people women, that don't know what that is, what is, what is, what I'll explain it. Al right. Alopecia is an autoimmune deficiency where you lose hair in a bald spot. Okay. You basically get a bald spot. And basically, in layman's term, <coughs> it's a bald spot. Okay. And mine's is a, is a bald spot. Now, we go to these dermatologists, and I've had great um, luck with growing. There's two types of hair you grow back. You grow that real fine baby hair. You know, when babies are first born, they got that mm -hmm. real fine little stubble. And then mm -hmm. you have hair, hair. What type of hair does your product grow back? Because some people think that that fine little stubble is hair and it is not. Okay, well, my product is for really all hair types, all hair textures. Um, and my hair growth serum, I put everything in there that's going to increase hair growth, rapid hair growth, that's going to keep your scalp clean, and that's just going to allow you to see results fast. Now, my hair oil ingredient in that is my black seed oil. Now, black seed oil has some, some um, ingredients in it that when they, um, when people have alopecia and they, um, it's a certain product, I don't know what it's called right now, that they prescribe to them, it's the same ingredient in that, that's, that's in the black seed oil. So that's why I chose black seed oil. So okay. I love black seed oil. Go ahead. So you can take a bald head man and make him a hair man with a head full of hair. Listen, it's more to it than just using the hair growth serum though. Because right. if you're not, if you're using shampoo, conditioner that's cheap, it's not going to even allow your hair to even, it's not going to allow your, your scalp to be clean. It's not going to allow your hair to be moisturized well. And it's going to keep your hair dry because it's cheap and it's not, it's not good ingredients in it. So you really need the whole system. If you need to grow your hair back, you need the whole system. You need a good shampoo. You need, you need a deep conditioner of your hair. You need that you need to do that just about every week. You but if you bald head, what's your deep conditioning? You still need to do something to your scalp. Your scalp. Because, yeah, because your scalp, your scalp is and and it's not like that's the only part of your hair that you need to make sure is well moisturized. You have to make sure the rest of your hair is well moisturized as well. So you just get in the habit, you get in the routine of taking care of your hair, period. Because when your hair grow back, it's going to fall out if you're not taking care of it. So you'll never see the growth that you that you want. It's, it's going to grow. If it grows, you'll see it and then it'll come right out because your, your hair is dry. So it's really important for you to use, and use um, products that are really good for your hair, really. And I know sometimes you look at it like, oh man, $3.99, let me get it. No, I, I encourage people that don't want to buy my products, just whatever you choose, look at the ingredients on the back, research it. Anything that says, um, like, stay away from the silicone, stay away from the alcohols. And if you really research those, those words and really get down to what they are, a lot of them are not really good for our hair, period. So I agree with alcohol. Alcohol dries your hair out. I stopped right. buying years ago. I stopped buying um, gel when, as black women, we wanted our L, our gels, our edges gelled up. 
Right. I stopped buying gel on the edges that had alcohol in it because it, it broke your edges off. So I stopped right. that years ago. Right. And my stylist told me. And that comes from the miseducation of our stylists. A lot of stylists right. are not hair educated. They go to beauty school and don't learn the education of black hair. Right. Right. That's true. So you telling right. me Gordon Phillips got all these people out here dumb as hell about our hair? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to teach you because they want you to keep coming back. So why would they teach and train you on what to do properly when they want to maintain your hair? They don't want you to maintain it. They want you to feel like, oh my God, I don't know what to do with it. I do. Pay me so I can show you. Right. Kat, I had a couple questions if you don't mind. Okay. First, congratulations. I think you're beautiful. When uh, Mark you. sent the picture, I was looking at your hair and everything. I said, Lord, she's beautiful. Look at that. Now, Thank when you. it comes to washing hair, I was always taught, I was always taught like the dirtier your hair is, the more it grows. So, like, do you suggest people wash their hair every week or every two weeks or once a month? And then as a follow-up. Also, you know how when we comb our hair and we have like somebody here that's in the comb. Now, I know depending upon how much hair is in the comb, it could be falling out. But isn't it good that some of your hair comes out because we lose hair every day, right? Naturally, but it shouldn't yeah. be in clothes. Right, right. That's true. Now, I recommend um, customers, potential customers to shampoo every week. Okay. Because, because the thing about it is you shampoo anything like... Um, you massaging your scalp is going to bring blood flow to your scalp and blood flow, increased blood flow helps your hair growth to increase. That's so true. if, so shampooing, you got to clean your scalp. Anything that's blocking your pores is going to block your hair growth is going to stunt your hair growth because it's like, you got caked up dirt, all this product. How's your, you know, how's the new growth going to really get through the way it needs yeah. to. So it's like really two parts. You need a clean scalp to really see good rapid hair growth and massaging it brings good blood flow. You know, even with um, Ms. Dark, what I wanted to say to her was um, I still, I, I really encourage people to massage your scalp really every day, every day. If you buy my hair growth serum, use it at least four times a week. Massage your scalp three to five minutes every time. But massaging your scalp, really 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 helps a lot you know and it just it feels good but one is good if you got a man you get your man to do it that's very intimate that could be yeah. some foreplay ladies and gentlemen that hey. could be foreplay start at the scalp baby and work hey. your way down <laughs> <laughs> hey. I, I didn't go good here <laughs> but, but yes baby, hold on, get hold my brain going <laughs> Do I hear somebody in there coughing and shit in the kitchen? <laughs> What's that for in there? It's like, <laughs> oh, in that birthday no, twin good, coughing. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, what about the hair breakage? Like when you're combing your hair and you see some hair in your comb, when should you get worried that you're having, you know, you're losing hair versus just the regular hair that you lose daily? For one, I don't even recommend combing your hair. I really don't. Oh, I, I finger I finger comb my hair. Okay. You know, I finger comb my hair. Um, if you do choose to comb your hair, just make sure it's like a really wide tube comb. Okay. Um, finger and, combs and whatever my hair all the time. You comb your hair all the time. He finger combs my hair all the time. Um, okay. okay. You can't comb your okay. hair all the time. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I mean, it's good because not not, not this one though. Hey, oh, okay. No. Oh, see, see, y'all just started something. <laughs> Look at Mark. This is that open conversation, baby. But, but, but okay. wait to the end of the show to back, start. <laughs> but back to the hair, though. Yes, we, we talking we, about hair. That's a shame. <laughs> I'm trying to answer. I'm trying to answer Ms. Monet. So, if it is a whole uh, lot. Especially if, if, if you come in one section, if it's a whole lot, then yeah, you're gonna have a problem. Mm -hmm. Especially if you start seeing it thinning out. Mm. But yes, we normally, you know, lose hair every day. So it's okay if you see some hair fall. Now, what I would be um, alarmed at when I'm seeing um, hair fall is when you see the little pieces. That's because, you know, it's like if I see the little pieces, my hair is breaking off at the end. Gotcha. So if, I, if my hair is growing, 
I'm losing that. I'm losing that length because it's breaking off at the end. So, when so how, how lot, often should you tr trim them edges? Not the edges, the ends. How often do you trim your your ends? I don't recommend people just say, "Okay, I'm going to trim my ends every month" or anything like that. It just really depends on what your ends look like. Okay. Like if you if you have a lot of split ends, but it's not all over. You can just take whatever is split and just go ahead and cut it if you want to. But if you're trying to keep up a hairstyle, I don't know, you might have to, whoever does your hair, you might have to go and get them to do something with your hair. But if you are going to a, a hairdresser or a hair salon or whatever, then they should be able to let you know, like, okay, your ends look kind of dusty. Let's do something about it. But it if you're just doing dusty. your own hair and it don't look bad, or it's not getting tangled, or you don't get those little knots at the end, then you don't have to cut your hair. Right. You just cut it when it's necessary. Like really, you know, a okay. lot of times people cut, they grow like an inch or whatever, two months, or whatever. It's like, okay, I got to cut my ends every month or whatever. Oh, my hair is not growing. It's growing, but you're cutting too much. You, you're cutting stuff you don't even need to cut. Gosh. Yeah. So can your products work on beards? Like, you know, you got some beard stuff? I used to sell the beard stuff. I stopped because when I Why? used to reach out to guys like, okay, I need you to be my model. Or if I'm handing out a business card, then there's always something more than just selling my product. Like, look, man. Are you, you trying to say that as men that don't know? <laughs> right, right. I just, I, I want y'all to... stuff to grow the natural way. We know how y'all want y'all stuff to be conditioned. They, yeah, they, 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 they was just taking it too far. Like, come on, man. I just start my business. I'm trying to help y'all out. I ain't asked for nobody number to be nothing personal. You want it or you don't. See, it is what it is. Dude, dudes, y'all messing up, stop. man. Y'all being, right. being catty, man. Catty yeah. dudes. Look. I can't do it. I, I had to pull so, it back. Like, look, I can't do it. So, nope. Kat, you've been doing the hair products. Have you thought about doing skin products and other, or are you going to just stick with hair? I'm thinking about doing skin, but I want to get more, like, um, like I'm, I'm still growing. Okay. I want to get more comfortable in what I'm doing now and get a little bit bigger and then kind of venture off because my daughter, she's always had bad skin. So she's like, mom, I need you to do this. And I need you to do that. I'm like, look, you got to wait because I can't, <laughs> I can't be around here. Like I'm making stuff by myself in the kitchen. So it's like, if I, if I'm making hair stuff, I start making skin stuff. And it's like, I'm not there to, you know, I'm not there financially right. to hire anybody just yet so it's like yeah you got y'all gotta wait y'all gotta wait but i do have <laughs> the ingredients for you know to, to whip up anything in case i want to start doing that you know it's all the same mm. thing it's all the same okay. thing because i mean your scalp is, is skin right your scalp is skin so so let me ask you two questions being a business owner What's the hardest thing you see as far as trying to grow your business? I know the dudes is difficult. So we got that <laughs> out. What's, what's the other thing that you have like issues with as far as it people just saying they don't believe or what's the issues that stop you from growing? Um, I would say with the, the women, I think that um, we're so conditioned to thinking that for one, we can't grow long, healthy hair. That's number one. And it's like, if you have a problem, let me help you with your problem. Like you, you don't have to have an attitude about me helping you. I understand it's stressful. I understand that you might not believe what I'm saying, but if you're willing to go buy something from somebody that's not even your, your skin color, just take my words out of my mouth. I was going to go You know, <laughs> like how, how you believe them over you, over believing somebody that's your your skin color that's actually doing this like i'm the face of my brand you you can see my hair right i've never had long hair never one side of my hair is to my hip the other side is to my waist but it's like look i can show you and then i can help you if you don't want that that's fine that's fine i can't i can't make you do it so I guess my thing is, and then a lot of, a lot of women don't believe this is my hair. Like I had ads out on Facebook, all the comments, she lying. This not her hair. 
this is this is a wig. I'm like, listen, I wish I could find a wig that looked like this so I can leave my hair alone sometimes. Hey. <laughs> listen, I think I was slapping on like maybe at least once a once, like a week, once a month. Just be like, look, just leave you alone. I'm gonna leave you alone. And everybody gonna think it's still me. But but yeah, I think, you know, and then um capital, like getting the um, like for marketing, you know. It is difficult to get um, what I need as a black business owner. You know, that that's, that is real with the skin color stuff. It's real, wow. you know, because it's like certain amount of money is there for business owners, but it's only a little bit of it is allocated to black business owners. Then it's like, it's so many, it's like, okay, well, who's going to get the money, you know? Right. Then there's so many stipulations like, okay, we got to be in business th these many years, or you got to have this already you, that you're making a gear. Or, it's, it's crazy. So I said, well, whatever. It, it's going to happen the way it's going to happen. So I think, you know, those are my two, or did I say three things? I don't know. Maybe I did more than two. So, those so are I things think, that, you know, one, messed up. One, one thing I think is that because you are a product of your product, that that should speak for itself. Cause you know how you have people and I'm not sending those shots. Yes, I am. You know how you <laughs> have people trying to sit, sell you stuff that say, oh, come lose this weight, this and that. And they'd be like 400 pounds. And they trying hey. to tell you to lose weight. It's like, right. nobody's going to believe you. Like we don't believe you. <laughs> like, you understand what I mean? But you on the other hand, your hair, your skin is glowing. And that's why I did that flyer the way I did it with three pictures on it instead of this one picture. Oh, yeah. I wanted to make sure that people paid attention to you, not taking nothing away from my team, but I wanted to make sure that people paid attention to you as far as what you do, you know, as far as look, it speaks for itself, you know? So it's, it's amazing. And I deal with a lot of independent business people. It's amazing how hard we have it far as just different products and different services and it'd be good quality service, but you'd rather go to, and again, I'm not sending shots to no race. You'd rather go, like you said, to Kim Wong Chong and they don't know anything about us far as people, far as our lifestyle, far as our skin, far as how we were, what we used to eat growing up, any of those things. And it's a shame, it's, it's actually really sad that we don't support each other a little more, but then we always complain about, oh, we get the bad end of the stick. No, you don't support the people that you need to support so we can get to that level and be respected in the business world. Right. So, but I, I'm definitely gonna get with you on some stuff off the radio on however I can help, you know? And like I always tell people, and I knew you all my life probably, we knew each other, like grew up together and all that stuff. Right. And I always right. tell people, I'm not, Puff Daddy, I can't give people millions, but I can try to help you promote and do whatever I can do to bring awareness to whatever you're trying to do. And that's my gift as far as doing the pictures and the commercials and all that type stuff and bringing people on this platform to hopefully they tap in to, you know, what we're doing. So I just want to tell you, keep up, keep up what you're doing. I watch you on, you know, Facebook and all the stuff that you're doing. And hey, I just wish you the best. And Whatever I can do, I'm here. And the, the team will tell you, I don't mind helping. <laughs> See, my question okay, you. Is to you is, a lot of females out there, and you know this, and I'm going to play the devil's advocate right now. <laughs> a lot of females out there got products just like yours, and you know that. Right. They make these claims that they can take these bald head chicks <laughs> and have them grow hair. And I keep it 100. They can draw, grow, grow these bald head chicks' hair. And now they want to buy their products. Now, these mm -hmm. chicks is bald headed. They don't got no edges. They going to come to you and you can, you can grow them edges. What are you doing? I don't want you to tell your secret. Because I don't want nobody in their kitchen using. <laughs> Trying to make sure. <laughs> In there using molasses and marmalade. And Trying black seed oil. Sense. We know black seed oil and black seed oil. Right. <laughs> right, right. 
Give me that, give me that crazy glue and that black seed oil. We're hey. that black seed. <laughs> <laughs> well, all my ingredients is on the bottle and on the website. So I don't hide anything. Everything that I Ooh. use, you can go on the website, you can look at my hair growth serum and you can look at the ingredients. That's it. I just don't, I'm not going to tell you how much proportion, like, okay, I use like a, a ounce of this and all that. Like, I don't do that, but it's supposed to be listed. What you use the most on in the ingredients on the bottles is supposed to be listed sure. the most to the least. So whatever you see first is what is used the most. And then whatever second. So that's how it goes down. So you don't have to know how much I use of each each ingredient, but you can tell what's mostly there by, mm -hmm. you know, what's listed first to the least. So um, the only thing I do is really encourage the women that really are ready for the help because it's like any with anything, like you said, with losing weight or whatever, wanting to learn, wanting to whatever, the person has to be ready for that. They have to be at the point where they're like, you know what? I'm tired of being sick and tired. I'm, I don't like looking at my edges looking like this. I want to feel more beautiful because I know when I messed up my hair, yo, I felt so ugly. When my hair started growing back and it was shiny and it wasn't looking dull, I felt beautiful. I'm like, yeah, okay. You know, I might not like other things about me, but my my hair is what you see first. You know, a lot of times people say that's what they see first. And then they look at, oh, your smile or whatever, whatever. But with my hair being messed up, I, I, I really felt ugly. I was like, Man, I got to do something about this. So you the thing about it is you have to be consistent. You can't use the stuff you can't get the hair growth serum massaging your scalp for a week and then say oh man no sis ain't work you gotta stay consistent like you can't just use one bottle you know if if you have major damage it's it's going to take you really being consistent and changing your mindset how long is it gonna take how much is the bottle and how long is it gonna take <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of money because the ingredients are 100%. Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't use crazy so cheap ingredients. On the website, it's $35. And I'm about to, and that's four ounces. So I'm about to add two ounces for, I think I'm going to do like 27 and then up the price of the four ounces. So how so, long do the um, four ounces last? It lasts for like, I would say four to six weeks, depending on if people use it. Oh, Hey, dang, dang, yeah, dang. I thought that's that's the one thing I noticed. Bottles is gonna take for a chick to see some consistency to see some growth. Really, let's get down to the nitty gritty now. Really, what I've seen and what I've heard, a lot of my customers say is seven days, but it depends on you. It depends on you. It depends on what you what you put in your body, that's stress right. level. Yeah, you being consistent with you shampooing your hair with deep conditioner. Are you keeping your hair moisturized? Like, like what are you doing? So, you how know, much is the whole kit? Depends on what kit you want. Now, if you want the ultimate growth, that's the shampoo, deep conditioner, hair oil, hair growth serum, and the uh, got the curly cream. Might not want that one. It's one fourteen. Now, the one that's um, the boost and grow. That's just a shampoo, deep conditioner, uh, hair oil, hair growth serum. And that is 89. <laughs> so like, like I seen some stuff. I thought you was gonna say like 299, the way these commercials be. I'd be like, damn, it don't last three, you know. But like, <laughs> like for example, what you said was, and I'm gonna use total life changes, for example, right? Because I'm with total life changes. And people say, yo. I'm going to drink this tea and lose weight. They drink the shit for a week, eat pork chops, ribs, and everything else. You're talking <laughs> about they lose no damn weight. Like, yo, right. it's consistent. And you got to make sure it's not just, like you said, your product is everything else also that you're incorporating with what you're trying to do. Right. And that goes for your product too, the same thing. Like, if you're going to use this, but you also got to make sure that you do other things too. Right, right. And then it depends on, I guess, the person also. If you got somebody that might got fucked up DNA, they might take them three months to go to here. <laughs> that, that's true. 
Like real talk. Like if you smoking crack and you trying to grow your hair back, then you know it, don't, it might not work. Like if you so did you work. telling me this, 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 then it comes with a clause. Then everything comes with a clause. It just it's really up to you. Everybody does not see the same results, and everybody don't see the same results at the same time. You might take a month to grow back some hair that that you think is nice or you think is satisfactory somebody else might take seven days somebody else might take 10 days the whole thing is you have to be consistent okay you, you had said something there. before we get out of here you mm -hmm. had said something earlier and you was actually talking about your hair as far as not having the curls and I think a lot of us, and I'll say African-American women, which I don't do often, but African-American women, we don't pay attention to that because we are straight in our hair and we put perms in our hair. However, our natural texture with the curl, we don't have. Would you mind speaking a little bit more about that? That we can have a little more understanding? Like as far as like 4C? Because we take the perms out and then the hair is straight. And then it's just like, okay, our natural, when we want to go back to being natural, just putting some... I don't know, grease and water in it, making it curly again, it doesn't automatically snap back. And it's like, well, now I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna get the curly stuff to make it curly, where maybe your hair just need to be cut or maybe you just need to lay, leave it alone and stop putting the chemicals in there. Like, how do you get your pattern back after you've lost it after processing? Well, if it's badly damaged, it's, it's really nothing you can do about it, but really cut mm -hmm. it. So it depends on how bad the damage is and like, I say like if you had a perm and maybe some of your hair didn't already grew out, say you have this much new growth and all it is is bad from the perm mm. and, and there's just no saving it, then you might want to just start right here. You might just want to cut to where your new growth is and then just start taking care of it. Then you can be able to see your, your hair pattern, your hair pattern, your texture. Like do you have 3B? You have 3A, you have 3C, 4A, 4B, 4C hair type. But um, as now far as- How can a person find out what their hair type is? How do they know? Well, it's a lot of pictures that you can really Google because once you once you wet your hair and you let it dry, it'll start, it'll curl. Even mm -hmm. as, when it's wet, it'll curl, but you just look at it and compare it to what's really out there. Okay, you can look at the picture like, okay, my curl pattern is- kind of, you know, like a loose curl, whatever, that might be like 3B, 3A, 3B. A little tighter might be 3C. Then when it's like kind of curling in a little bit more, but it's still kind of loose, kind of get into the 4A. But when it start curling and it's really tight and maybe a little bit of zigzag, you get into 4B. 4B. Then when it's like really zigzag and it's really tight, that's 4C. So, but you, but it's better to just have something to look at. And it's mm -hmm. a lot of stuff that you can Google, like, oh, you know, pictures of different um, hair types. And then you be able to just compare, just compare your curl. Now, with you having curl, do you still apply heat to your hair or do you no longer apply heat or not as often? Not as often. Like when I want to do some things, I want to take pictures or I want to make certain type of videos or show my hair off for like, if I want to put something on IG or whatever, what I'll do is I'll wash my hair, deep condition it. And then I'll use grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is perfect for blocking your hair from really getting damaged by heat. Like it, it can oh. take like, yeah, you know, so it really helps with, you know, not allowing your hair to get um, badly damaged by the heat. So mm -hmm. I put a little bit on my hair because if you put too much, it's just going to be too much. And your hair is going to sizzle. Oh. So I put a little bit. Yeah. So I section my hair. out. I don't do all my, you know, I always do like little sections of my hair because it's really long and it really tangles really fast because I have 4B, 4C hair. So it tangles pretty fast. So what I'll do is while it's wet, I'll take some of this grapeseed oil, put it from my, from my root down to my ends. And then, I, you know, in sections, I'll just blow dry my hair on low. Oh, I'll do high, but I'll do low. Okay. I'll do high speed, but I'll do low temperature, the low setting. 
So I'll do, do that. Do you brush it out or do you do it with your fingers? I you sometimes I sometimes I use that brush that I forget what it's called. Um, the 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 brush is like this. I, I'm sorry, y'all. Right it's now, okay. I'm just having a brain freeze with the brush, and it's a shame because I I do um sell it in my, one of my kits, or whatever. But um, I don't really use it that often. Okay. So yeah, but I use my fingers. It might take a little longer, but at least I know I'm not pulling my hair out. Got you. Yeah. So you just have to you just have to take time. You like we have to really start really loving ourselves and taking time. For, with ourselves and for ourselves like really we take care of everybody else yeah but we give ourselves okay i'm gonna do my hair about an hour uh it's taking too long what your hair is your crown you know what i'm saying like you why you don't want your hair to be decent like that like you just take time with your hair love it and it's gonna love you back just like you want to love a man mm-hmm. you want that man to love you back love I you know have two world relationships, so we already know that that's a mess up. <laughs> we ain't gonna even do that part. We, we, loving the man, Lord, that's a whole nother show, a whole nother day, Lord God. Yo, look, y'all gonna have to have you. Let's start with the way. hair and work our way down. What's that, Mark? That's the brush, I think she's yeah. talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, I have what I have one right here. I forget what they call it. That's a shame. Because I was told, you said the combs, but I was always told like when you brush your hair, that was what pulls your hair out. So they was like comb, and now you saying comb. So I'm learning something different. But I like that yeah. little brush. Yeah, they, I like the fact that you just said finger, finger it, finger it, finger it, finger, yeah, it, finger, it, finger everything. <laughs> finger Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. And, and take Thank your you, time. <laughs> take take your time. Look, I'm in the mirror talking to my hair. Like you finger know, I love it. you, right? Listen, it's I say to my hair, whatever. You just got you just gotta love your hair. Just love it. Even if it's messed up. Love it because the more you you love it and you talk to it or whatever you're gonna do to pamper it, you even you'll if start you getting it to the root. One strand, right? And finger. Right, right. It, it'll 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 grow back because it's like you you speak in positive stuff, you speak in life. You know you what I'm saying? You mm. yeah, and this is like you not you don't you're not hating on your hair. It's messed up. Okay, fine. Fine. Do something to fix it. But don't be negative about it. Right. You know, it, this is a, it's a part of you. Until you die, you have this hair, you have this head until you die. Are you going to yeah. be negative to your head? I mean, it's not like it's somebody else's head. It's not like it's somebody else's hair. Like, look, get out my face. I don't want to deal with you today. you got to deal with yourself. You That's have right. to. You, this is you. This is what you you were blessed with. Mm. Take care of it, mm. and, so, and it takes so, time. It takes time, well, especially gonna, when it's badly damaged. I'm gonna get the the hair growth serum. I'm gonna try it on my beard, and I'll let you know if it works. Since you ain't doing no men's stuff, I'm gonna go I, get some of that. Uh, <laughs> I still have some beard oil that I could just give you. I won't sell it. I just give it to you. It's just sitting over there. I can just yeah, give it to you if yeah, you want to use it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to try that for my alopecia spot. And use yeah. it. Make sure you use it before you call me up. It ain't working. I'm going to say, who this? <laughs> Is this Miss Dark? Yeah. Know, I'm, about to bang, I'm about to bang on you. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm telling everybody. So she called me with the nonsense after 10 days or right. whatever. Katricia, she hung up on me. She been so rude, and I'm a customer. Y'all already know. Y'all can look back. She said she's gonna bang on you anyway. <laughs> love and love and love and peace. <laughs> I'm calling you. You better not. You already said it. But I'm telling you, if you grow hair in that little teeny dime spot I got, I'm gonna scream it from the top of the mountain. I'm going to be your biggest customer. I'm going to be, you ain't going to need no promotions. I'm going to be the one that's going to show it to the, pro- I'm going to go, I'm gonna get off this radio. I'm going to take a spot. I'm going to take a picture of this spot. Okay. And I'm going to go out and tell the world. And I'm going to take a picture every single day of this growth. Every day. No, every week. Do every week. It's a weekly growth. Oh, man. I'm gonna be on tour, and I'm gonna say, <laughs> oh. listen, on my Facebook and my Instagram, 
And I'm going to be like, all these other products lie, but this is the only product <laughs> that helped me with my doubt. <laughs> because that be like this, yeah. beat out all the dermatologists <laughs> hey, and all the other people out here that's claiming they can grow hair. Everything is natural. Everything grows. God allowed this stuff to grow for us to use it for a reason. Mm -hmm. I didn't make this stuff. This is stuff that grows from the earth. So how did you figure out which ones to put together? I researched all the oils that I thought would work. I didn't put in it okay. Oils that keep your scalp clean, let your hair grow, and I put them all together. I could put more in there, but I'm like, okay, if I put more, I'm going to have to raise the price. And I'm thinking about adding some more stuff that I believe is really good. So... I just figured, so grow hair? yeah, it's a lot of other stuff that I don't even use that is really helpful in growing hair. So, you know. So when you first started, tell the truth, right? Be honest. When you first started and you made the product, did you try it on yourself or you told your daughter, come here for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> no, I tried it on myself. Because well, my daughter, she's she not even that type of daughter that will even let me do that. She's like, she's like no, we ain't doing that, mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nah. At some point, you made a bad batch of something. No, not really. Oh, my shampoo. At first, I was messing up my shampoo because it was separating. It was like the, the oils in the water wasn't kind of connecting. It wasn't staying together. So I was messing up on that, like for real. It took me a minute to get my shampoo right. It worked, but it just didn't look good. It's like, oh, no, what's this? Mm. But, you know, when I was doing my own stuff, yeah, I did make bad batches. It's like, okay, well, this, this ain't working. Okay, let me, let me add this in here. I used to put MSM in it. I might go back to putting MSM in it, you know, because sulfur helps the hair to grow. Mm. And, you know, onions is sulfur. You know, back in the day, that was something that it, they used to put in kids' hair, sulfur eight. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I still right. use it every now and then. The yellow john is upstairs. Yeah. It's that's too strong. Stink. I can't use it Love. How do you smell, Cat? Because that sulfur I, just stinks. I was just, about to, I was just about to say that the stuff that works, just like the Thank stuff you. that we're supposed to eat that helps us, sometimes it's nasty. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes the things that, that work and help do stink. So yeah, I try my yeah. best to, to mask the smell of certain things. Like I use mustard seed oil. The mustard seed oil is the thing that just like, man, look, I don't, know <laughs> if I, I don't know if I can do it sometimes. It's like, okay, well, I can't add a whole bunch of stuff that's going to burn your scalp. So I put the lemon lemongrass oil in it, which is good. I mean, essential oil in it, which is really good for your scalp as well but I can't put a whole lot in it to make it smell real good. Right. What's going to have a reverse is going to make your hair start falling out. I do add a fragrance that is natural, but I can't add too much of that either. Right. So it's like- I don't want the hair to fall out, but I don't, mean, I don't want the man to walk away neither. Like, damn child, you stink. You look good, but you stink, so. Yeah, it's, it's, you know. it's not that it. bad. It's not that bad, <laughs> but, but you ain't going to get something that smell like roses. But the thing about right. it is everything else that I make smells good. So it's like, if you're using everything else, everything else smells like lemongrass or smell like cake. So, it's so, like, if, I tell you know, him, so if I tell him to lick and smell everything else, <laughs> is that the way that just stay away from Okay, thank you. I'm See, taking you know notes. What I'm saying? I don't even <laughs> want to think about all the stuff y'all talking the about, show. man. We can act up. It's the end of the show. <laughs> no, I don't man, want to man, think man. about uh, this. You got to realize you're on, a, you're on with two comedians. So it gets kind of crazy sometimes on open conversation. And then I don't have my, I don't have my, like, the male part of the show, like, is not really here. Simply D's here, but he's working, so he can't really jump on. But he's here and he's texting. So this is like the women take over one of those shows. Right, right. I just pull back and be like, okay. Uh, so let me, so give, give your information. Um, so that way, just in case they want to get with you and, Talk to you real quick. Simply D, you want to say yeah, something? Real quick. Why, why, why somebody got to lick something? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just, you know, it all go together. 
It go if he's smelling it and it smells good, he gonna want to taste, right? <laughs> Don't we eat with our eyes and our nose first? So if he's smelling, he's like, oh, not hey, necessarily. Oh, man, not necessarily. I don't know Please why y'all want to lick. No, everybody ain't to be licked. Hey, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't got nothing to do. I don't run into that problem. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to make sure my hair shit straight. So if he started to you know, work his way down. Like, oh, I don't man. have that issue. I'm sorry. Oh, God. You better this lick her. <laughs> Talk, dog. You know what? <laughs> See, he got it started. We was, we was trying yeah. to close out. That's, uh, <laughs> that's a that's a that's a cement lady. If you ain't licking, you gonna get semen in your in your Jordans. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 don't mess with dark. <laughs> look, look. So look, wait, look, man, I have look, very nice hair, and I'm grateful. Listen. I was oh, gonna say I have four something. daughters, so I just don't want to do hair no more, and I keep mine's cut. Again, I have four daughters. I'm Ooh. here out. I'm here out. Mm. Well, all four of mine, I'm still doing. I'm I'm still doing the boys here. Mm. They, so they so want me to braid the hair again. Huh? huh? So for eight is good, huh? So for eight is good. It has MSM in it. Yep. Mm. You can use that as well. Boy. So that's, that's, that's what's up. So give your information. You can we bring you back later for just hair question and answer? tips because a lot of african-american women have questions about what they should and should not use and they hair. okay because this not only did it just talk about your product it also spawned a question about what is good for the african-american hair okay no problem and see, that's next that's month it we may for yes. We'll make it happen. But that's important for a good follow-up question. Yeah. That's important for people to know that when you're dealing with people, deal with somebody that know what the hell they're talking about. Right. Yes. I mean, we deal we deal with so many people that don't know Jack. Like you just buying stuff from people. Like I have a, a a friend of mine that I grew up with. Her name is Shanika, and she do nails. You know Shanika, right? And she do nails and it's like I, she broke some stuff down one time that I was talking to her about nails that I'm like, damn, you know, and it's not, I'm not going to say who, but we know who do the nails, who got the business. <laughs> lot they don't be knowing nothing. They don't educate you on what you shouldn't do or nothing. They just sit there and they do your nails and soak your feet. And it's like, why not educate the person so that way they can grow healthy nails and stuff like that? Because they need your money. I right. keep saying that they need your money. Why am I going to teach you to fish? Right. I want you to keep buying right. fish from me. Right. So right. it's up for us to take the knowledge and want to do something different and better for ourselves. Everything's an investment back in the self. But you know what? I'm going to put a show together for the ladies, maybe next month. You know, that's going to basically be the hair. The hair. We're going to have you do the hair. Okay. I'll get with Shanika to do the nails. And then I'll get with somebody I know that's a dermatologist that deals with African American skin. And we're going to have okay. a show that just basically talks about that and do what Dark said as far as the question and answer. And if they want to know more, I'm going to tell y'all because y'all know I keep it 100. We're not going to tell y'all a lot. Y'all going to have to hire these women to get, to get <laughs> these teachers. Because people try to be cheap and watch this show and try to not reach out to the individuals. We're not doing that. We're going to tease y'all, and then y'all got to get with them to hire That's us and get their products and stuff. So don't think you're going to get on here and get educated and then not support these women. We're not doing that. Right. We're not doing that. So <laughs> let's close out. Let's uh, give your information just in case they want to reach out to you. They want to order products and all that good stuff. How can they do that? Okay, my um my website is www.amorose o m o r o s e natural products with the s on on the end dot com. Um, Facebook, same thing. Amorose natural products. Instagram, same thing. Amorose natural products. Uh, phone number, let's see, eight hundred five nine two six two nine one. Uh, hours are 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please don't call me before 11 because I will just look at the phone. 
You and legitimate. Don't me, you have an and don't call me number. past five. You a legitimate business. <laughs> you legitimate. You got an 800 number. They right. got the 877s and the 888s. You old school. <laughs> you legitimate, girl. Big time, because I tried the 800, and I looked at how much of a cost. I was like, she, y'all better do right. it. You got to do an 877 or an 888. <laughs> I, I, Look, did that. I did go daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Not that much with GoDaddy, yeah. Not that much. I'm with Wick. I gotta see. Um, GoDaddy is not sponsoring us. However, they're welcome to sponsor us. Yeah, yeah. We're not promoting GoDaddy. However, <laughs> right, right. they're welcome to sponsor us. Look, right. big time. <laughs> but uh, let's close out. Dark, what you got? What you got going you on? I'm going? a Wix. Oh, oh, W I X. I thought you said Wick as in. And I wish they did get websites for free. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm, I'm with go. I'm with GoDaddy, even though they don't sponsor us. I'm with GoDaddy. But yeah, I'm the fella. Uh, I am the <laughs> princess. I'm the dark child. Um, I'll be with um the uh Delaware chapter of uh the sorority uh Delta Sigma Theta tomorrow night. Um, and uh, I'll be in um. Next week. Oh, I'll be with Joe the Boss Thursday night at his okay. show. Um, at Majestic Hall. He's starting his Wednesday night or uh, Thursday night show. Um, check okay. that out. And then I'll be at uh Glen Mills next week. Oh, and y'all gotta come check that one out. That's the boy from Wildin' Out, Jacob Williamson from Wildin' Out and Two Ray up in Glen Mills next Thursday and uh next Saturday, Friday and Saturday. Y'all gotta come out and check that out. That's gonna be amazing. Cool. Mills. Okay. Jay, Jay Monet. I, I, I was looking at my dad going calendar because so much I stuff is going on. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, bless God. I really have I'm like, let me look at the calendar. It's just stuff. The best thing I would say is just check out J Monet Just Laugh. J M O N E T Just Laugh. I'm doing comedy. I'm doing motivational speaking. Hell, I'm doing acting. They really got me busy. God is moving, like for real. Um, I'm I'm helping people write comedy. We're helping people to do jokes. So um, just check out my webs. Oh wait. I'm lying. I'm with Wix and GoDaddy. <laughs> wait, wait. BS is nothing. We always real. I'm with Wix and GoDaddy. But since I've been here, I ain't been able to afford neither one. I think my... Listen, I told somebody to go to my website. They was in front of me. They went to pull it up. Was it shit? It said cannot be found. I said, you ain't typing right. I went in there. Oh, Jesus. I said, I got to pay the bill. No, God. <laughs> so y'all better just either cash app or sister, uh, you know, dollar sign, jmode19, or... Just check me out on uh, Instagram or Facebook. We mm -hmm. out here grinding. Ain't no whole lot to that. But yeah, I got to get my website back up because, again, it ain't free, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> y'all, gotta check it out. They pulled it up and nothing came up. I was so embarrassed. Emily oh. D, you got anything you want to say real quick before you jump off? Before you jump off? I know you got to unmute yourself. Yeah, this is your man Simply D. Sorry that I couldn't be more involved in the conversation because of everything else that's going on. But it was a lovely show. Lovely show. A lot of information. Especially about the alopecia stuff. And uh, hopefully people will uh, jump on and try to get some of that hair growth product. I know I'm definitely interested, so I will be in touch as well. Uh, make sure you put the information on the um, on our site so that people can jump on and find it. Because after the time, people, you say it, and they don't even get a chance to write it down. So that was it. I appreciate you being on Open Conversation. Oh, thank you. Definitely, we definitely gonna have you back on for everybody that's on Facebook that's watching. If you go, I just post her website on my Facebook. If you missed the show, you can go to YouTube and search the door radio and watch the show. I'll upload it if you want to catch it from the beginning, or you can go to any podcast site that you listen to your podcast and search the door radio and check out all the shows on the radio. I appreciate our guests for coming on. Good information. I'm going to definitely, of course, promote heavy and probably order something because I said I'm going to try it too. I'm trying to let my hair grow. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm going to see no, if it works on a And I'm going to try to get you to get that beard cream back. So definitely, yeah, I'll, 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 if I got to pay for shipping or I meet up with you to grab that, definitely I want to try it. So that way I can tell definitely, some other fellas. Definitely. You know what I mean? To jump on that and get that from you. Again, thanks for Definitely. tuning in. This presents Open Conversation Show here.
on Sador Radio, the station is more than music. Everybody be safe. Check us out next Thursday when we have another guest on that's doing some major things. I appreciate everybody. Have a great night. Talk Thank to you. Good night, family. Good night, y'all. Good night. Thanks Stay. for coming, Kat. Thank you.